Hi friends, it's Andriy Vasilenko. The butterfly effect is a concept saying that small things lead to big changes when a seemingly insignificant event starts a chain reaction and is going farther and farther from what might have been if the tiny crap never happened. It works both in good and bad directions and if someone's f***ed up could eventually cause drastic progress in human life. This way were invented penicillin, fireworks, potato chips and heavy metal. Being an academic and a metal head rolled into one, I've always been curious about the essence and the origins of my favorite music. And sometimes it leads to interesting discoveries such as a flat tire that as it turned out, gave birth to metal. But at first, let's find out what is metal. Of course, there's no ultimate answer. Nevertheless, we can define a few things that match most of heavy metal music. It's heavy sound and heavy attitude. And one of sources of the heaviness is distortion, which is basically over amplifying of sound. Average people tend to treat things that seem too much to them as something wrong. And distortion used to be such a thing. We observe a tendency of distortion getting heavier and heavier since uh, technologies uh, are getting better and human ear less tender to accept it. And if to roll back to the very beginning of the electric guitar, any deviations from the pure sound were considered as a flaw as a kind of heresy, the standard allowed no clipping. It was so until several musicians began to break those rules, either looking for a dirtier sound deliberately or getting it by accident. And we can find examples of such sabotage in a few records from 40s. But those attempts had not caused any dramatic changes in music industry since not all conditions were there in order to take the trend off. And then came year 1951. A band called uh, Kings of Rhythm recorded the song Rocket 88, which was uh, a classic 12-bar blues. Nevertheless, there was a couple of features that made it stand out among other rhythm and blues tunes of the time. Rocket 88 had drive and overdrive. And it became the first huge hit among all Americans, regardless of race, which was unthinkable back in the 50s. The new concept of the guitar sound could have broken into minds of Chuck Berry, Link Ray, who released their rebellious hits afterwards. So the snowball was pushed down and it happened by chance. The truck that carried the band's equipment got a flat tire. They tried to replace it and a guitar amp fell down. When they got to the studio, the guitarist found out that uh, something broke there. The sound became dirty and they kept it. Now all the conditions were there. Distortion itself, popularity to engage more people, impact on other musicians to develop the sound, and also escalating social changes uh, that the music matched perfectly. Then Blues Rock came out, uh, which uh, representatives got inspiration from uh, rock and roll and rhythm and blues of 50s and early 60s, and who also used first distortion pedals. So now dirty sound became the standard. And finally, in 1970, Black Sabbath made the dark aliens of the distortion and the modern heavy riff, which announced the birth of metal. I'm not saying that if uh, the amp didn't fall, metal would have not existed. Society needed such music as an antidote to politics and other crap that uh, was tearing the world apart. It should have happened anyway probably a bit later, and with uh, other heroes and other masterpieces. But we cannot know it for sure, since this is how the butterfly effect works. It's unpredictable and unstoppable. One song, one riff, one line 
can change a life. And I'm sure that you also have a similar story. Please uh, share it with us. Subscribe to my channel if you are a fan of metal. And support me on Patreon if you want more such videos coming. Thanks for watching, guys. It's Andriy Vasilenko. Be in metal.